Heading into her last year of Acadia University's musical therapy program, Kendall Jones reflects on her first year when she thought she might be pregnant. A poster on campus offered support, so she texted the number asking for a pregnancy test and was told to come in for a meeting. I remember she said it's, it's her responsibility to make me aware of the risks, and some of the risks she went over with me uh, were that I was at an increased likelihood of breast cancer if I went through with an abortion. And it didn't stop there. As the meeting went on, um, I just continued to feel more and more judged and, and sensitive uh, to what they were saying and, and scared too. The last thing she said is, and you have to also consider how, how God might judge you. Acadia Pregnancy Support is affiliated with the Christian Council of Canadian Charities, but it didn't make that clear in its promotional material. We had asked the organization to be forthcoming with their religious affiliation and pro-life stance. The Students Union made the request last semester after receiving complaints. It has now shut down the club because it didn't comply. Acadia Pregnancy Support was run by the Valley Care Pregnancy Center here in Kentville. Its executive director, Bill Davenport, declined an interview saying CBC's reporting is misleading. He refused to say what information is incorrect, calling the story a smear campaign before abruptly hanging up. Dr. Robin McQuarrie says the group's information is misleading. While it's true that pregnancy at a young age can slightly cut the risk of breast cancer, that's just part of the story. There are many other ways to decrease your risk of breast cancer, which are more impactful than having a pregnancy, which have far less impact on your life than carrying a pregnancy to term. It turned out Jones wasn't pregnant, but she hopes no one else has to face that kind of judgment on campus. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Wolfville, Nova Scotia.